It is true. And then when he does step in front and talk about some of the relief that BC is offering, he's been very strong in that role too. The premier is about to begin. Let's listen in right now. Premier John Horgan here. Tonight I want to speak directly to you about the COVID-19 pandemic. It's been nine weeks since the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in BC. Since that first case, we've activated BC's pandemic response plan. We've added critical resources to our healthcare system, freeing up thousands of acute care beds, increased support for seniors, and stepped up protections in our long-term care facilities. We've restricted travel and closed our borders. We've taken extraordinary measures to keep people safe. But we have some very tough days. Families are mourning the deaths of 24 British Columbians. And many more are in hospital or receiving intensive care. There are more challenges ahead. And that's why the next 14 days are so important. What we do today will affect what our doctors, nurses, and first responders face in the days and weeks ahead. It will determine how many of us stay healthy and how much we can do to flatten the curve. I want to thank all of you who are doing your part by staying at home and by helping your friends, your neighbors, and people in need. You might not feel it in your living room, but everyone in BC is pulling together. And there are early signs that our actions are making a difference. But we can't stop now. We need everyone to follow the directions of the provincial health officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry. Stay at home as much as you can. And when you're outside your home, stay at least two meters away from others. And if you need to go to work, please practice physical distancing from your colleagues. Wash your hands frequently for at least 20 seconds. And don't gather in large groups. We all need to take this very seriously. These are not suggestions, they're the law. As Dr. Henry says, we need 100% commitment from everyone to get this done. And that is why I'm asking you tonight to stay with this, to stay with us because we need to make sure that although this is not gonna be easy, it's not forever. We need people to do their part. And I want to thank every essential worker that's on shift right now, pitching in to fight COVID-19. The transit and ferry workers, long haul truckers, dock workers, delivery drivers who are keeping BC moving. And everyone working in grocery stores or gas stations or pharmacies or childcare centers. Day in and day out, your work secures the essential goods and services British Columbians count on. I want to speak directly to everyone working in our healthcare system. You are moving heaven and earth to help people who are sick. And we know you're stressed. We know you're exhausted. And we know you're being pushed to the very limit. We know you're putting yourself in harm's way to keep others safe. And for that, you have our deepest gratitude. Tonight, at 7 o'clock across BC, people will be standing on their balconies or their front porches, banging pots and pans to show our support for the work you're doing. It's our small way of saying, we're in this with you. BC has your back as this pandemic continues. And we have a plan so that if cases surge, our hospitals have capacity and you have support. We're leaving no stone unturned as we gather the personal protective equipment you need to stay safe. We're taking steps to secure our supply chains, but we are not the only people on the planet looking for this equipment. Tomorrow, we'll be launching a new partnership between the government, business, and BC's tech sector that will connect BC companies to healthcare centers in need of supplies. Like hand sanitizer that's being made right now by local distillers and reusable, reusable medical garments designed by outdoor clothing companies that we can use to keep our healthcare workers safe and in the supplies that they need. Finally tonight, I wanna to speak to the people who are feeling unsafe, who can't make rent this month or pay their mortgage because of lost jobs and lost wages. I can't begin to imagine the stress and anxiety you're feeling. This is a very difficult time. If you've been affected by COVID-19 and are struggling to make ends meet, BC is offering you help. We're freezing rents, halting evictions, and have brought in a new monthly benefit to give you up to $500 to help pay your rent. We created a BC emergency benefit, which will give you up to $1,000 in direct financial support if you've lost your income. Our support programs are designed to enhance those already announced by the Prime Minister. 
In times like these, we must put partisanship and regional differences to one side. Governments across Canada are working together to find solutions. This is a time of unprecedented cooperation, and it's only the beginning. We'll be taking further action in the days and weeks ahead. And when the time comes, we'll be asking all British Columbians to apply their skills to drive BC's recovery. COVID-19 may be the biggest challenge our province has ever faced it. So tonight, I'm extending BC's state of emergency so we can continue taking measures to keep people safe. As I watch what's happening around the world right now, it is unsettling and downright scary. We don't have all the answers, but we do have hope. Hope that the steps we have taken are working. Hope that together we can prevent the worst case scenario. Hope will carry us through this crisis as a community and as a province. We may be separated, but we're not alone. I'm optimistic about our recovery because I'm optimistic about this province and our future together. We will get through this because of the strength of our people and our communities. We're in this together, people from every corner of the province in every region. Tonight, I'm asking you to recommit. Recommit to our healthcare workers and to each other. Do your part, stay home, stay safe, and we'll bend this curve together. Thank you and good night.